Kayla. I'm cleaning. Oh, I'm cleaning. Oh, okay. So are you done? You're waiting for Mikila to get done with the bathtub. And then she mops the floor again. Because okay. she was stepping on the floor. Oh, okay. Good. And your room is done. What did you do? Everybody. Nice. Your socks. Oh, we were removing them. So I need to blow this balloons. Let me see. This one's gonna use the this pump. Yep, it's so dirty. Uh, and um, this is gonna use your mouth. You can blow this with your mouth, right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Make a wish. Did you? Wow. Wow. Mm. 
Catch a And Junior. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> hey guys, so this is the cleaning part of the video. This was a uh, the Monday after Eliana's birthday party, which we had um, the previous day. So we had her birthday on a Sunday uh, because the her birthday was actually on on Saturday, the 3rd of June. She was born on the 3rd of June. So Saturday was her birthday, but we couldn't have her party on that day because uh, I had a ladies conference at church with the ladies conference 20 year celebration anniversary. 20 year anniversary celebrations it was so fun guys so we decided to have your party on a sunday and you know <laughs> i was just telling my family like elena was born on a sunday and her first birthday party like this was literally her first birthday party we had never done a birthday party for elena before and your first birthday party was on a sunday the day she was born she was born on a sunday though let me tell you guys let me tell you guys <laughs> a little bit story uh eliana's bed story so i had eliana in 2018 the 3rd of june 2018 but i started having uh constructions i went into labor on a friday and it was during my exams when i went into labor like i it literally said for an exam on friday morning and i started to have contractions like 30 i think it, it was not even 30 minutes into the exam i think even less maybe 15 minutes into the exam i started having contractions and i just um soldiered on for like 20 minutes and a intense contraction hit me guys <laughs> Then I raised my hand 
like I was really heavily pregnant you can imagine and I was excused from the examination home I went to the because they had a nest station you know which is it's because they had a nest station and I went to see the the nest aid or whatever was there and I told you what was going on on obviously she could she could tell because I was like heavily pregnant but I convinced them that I was fine and I wanted to sit for that exam because I knew if I get into labor now and if I'm excused from the exam now the next semester I was going to take up three modules and I did not want that so I convinced them and they allowed me back into the examination hall and I finished that exam having contractions but they were not that intense so I wrote that exam on Friday but they couldn't allow me to write the afternoon exam they were like no we're not allowing you to do that because one we don't want to put your health in jeopardy and two it's just not a good scene for other students you know when you like fidgeting and you know that kind of stuff when you are in labor during an exam they don't want also to disturb other I'm saying kids, <laughs> it's if it's in a high school exam, no, they do not disturb other students. So yeah, uh, I couldn't sit for the after, the Friday afternoon exam, and then Saturday, like I pretty much spent the whole day just uh, at home. I will insert pictures of the pictures that we took on Saturday. Me and Michaela, you are safely pregnant, guys at home and i had mild contractions at some point they were i had no contractions at all and i was just like telling myself no it's not it i'm not yet in labor then midnight like early sunday morning and midnight saturday i started to have intense contractions guys oh my goodness but I just told my husband, no, I'm still, I'm still fine. We'll just go to the hospital in the morning. So around five, I couldn't sleep from five. Then we went to hospital. We arrived at the hospital, I think around past six to seven. And it's 9 a.m. on a Sunday. I gave birth to my sweet little girl, Eliana. Oh my goodness. Ah, and you know, from that time, from 5 a.m., to 9 a.m. when I gave birth, you guys, I had never felt so much pain in my life. I can't even compare. Um, it was so intense, guys. It was so intense. I was just pacing around the labor ward. Yo, my back, uh, child birth is not, <laughs> it's not a, <laughs> it's, uh, I can't even put it to words. But the the joy, like, when you get to hold your child in your hands, it surpasses all the pain that you would have felt. So our princess, our second princess was born on the 3rd of June, on a Sunday in 2018. And we celebrated your fifth birthday day your first birthday party she was so excited on a sunday guys that was just full circle on a sunday and she was so excited she had a list for your birthday i think in january you remember that vlog when she was telling you guys about your, your birthday in june and, and we were in january can you imagine i think it was the first of january this year and she was telling you guys about her birthday she was so excited. She gave me a list. She wanted a jumping car, so we did it for her. She wanted Coke for your birthday. She couldn't drink it during the, the day. We later gave him for dinner the Coke. Oh, she was so happy. She was like, I said, but you kids, you would drink juice. She was like, no, mommy, can we just have Coke? She calls it Coke. <laughs> Coke for my birthday. We did that. She wanted a Princess Sophia cake. We caught here that and to top it off, my sister, oh God, thank you so much, Ola, bought here a Princess Sophia doll. Oh my goodness. She was so happy. She was so happy. I think it's one of the, the, the toys that she so loves from the toys that she got. And she was like, mom, people have to bring presents and I'm so appreciative of my 
of my people. Oh God, they brought presents for her. She was so happy. She felt so, so important. She felt so important, especially when she was opening the gifts, even up to now. She was so happy, guys. I am so thankful for everyone who came, who showed love. My family, my friends, they helped me so much. I am so grateful. We're so grateful. So, yeah, guys, that is it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop in some balloons in the comment section. 